is to go to Divinity School, but I'm thinking about taking a little time off in between and uh, actually working with an organization in Guatemala. It's an accompaniment organization, so they work with people who are involved in kind of high profile activism, like testifying in genocide trials and um, protesting uh, like massive mega projects and extraction and um, you know, providing a measure of safety and human rights observation. Yeah, I never would have expected to be visiting tiny villages in Guatemala when I was walking across the stage at the gym in Waynesboro High School. A big part of it was going to Oberlin um, and I wasn't really looking at Oberlin before I became a Lenfest scholar. Um, I was looking more at colleges a lot closer to home, um, like Penn State and Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Mr. Leheka really encouraged me to look specifically at Oberlin and then a couple of other, um, you know, a couple other similar kind of private liberal, liberal arts schools. Um, so I looked at them and I really liked them. Then I visited Oberlin and I really liked Oberlin. Um, and then I got in, so that's where I went. And um, then it also really helped that uh, the Lenfest Foundation helped fund my, um, my trip to Guatemala and Peru. I really didn't know much about the college world when I was a junior and applying to colleges. I knew I really wanted to get out of Waynesboro, um, but I didn't really know how. So having some... Um, Having someone to give me advice and to uh, tell me to calm down when I was getting worked up over things that weren't that important was really helpful. Um, and also, Mr. Lacka really knows a lot about the kind of college universe and he has a lot of connections, so it was really helpful to kind of hear what it's like on the other side of the application process. Um, yeah, and then it's also been helpful over the years to. Um, have someone or a group of people kind of supporting you and um, believing that you belong there because what I found when I went to Oberlin was there's a lot of um, there's a lot of kids from New York who everyone in their family had gone to a private liberal arts school and that wasn't the case for me so knowing that somebody believed in me enough uh, to think that I could do it and that I should be there was big part of how the Lenfest Foundation helped me throughout my college career. I want to say thank you so much. Not only did the Lenfest Foundation help to pay for my college, but it's also helped to pay for um, summer working at an archaeological dig in Italy and this semester in Guatemala and Peru. Um, I don't think any of that would have been possible without the Lenfest Foundation. So. I just want to express my thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Lenfest and all the other people who've worked to make this foundation a reality and all the people who've worked to make this, um, these scholarships possible for students from South Central Pennsylvania.